All right, guys. El Miguel with the bus. Let me show you what we found here. I got the valve covers off last video, and uh, after a struggle to get this uh, top dead center marked and up, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it down in there. It's a pain in the butt, man, to get that up. I had to mark it with some white out and get a friend of mine to come over and help me. But here's what we found. This side, we had a, a valve tap and I could hear it. And uh, I'll show you what we found right here. This is a common nine liter problem right here. That's an exhaust valve on the back. And you can see how much movement that wear plate has in it right there. That's because this valve, this rock arm is out of adjustment. A lot. So it's probably 10 or 11 thousandths out of adjustment. Which is not catastrophic or anything, but it definitely needs to be taken care of. And uh, there's another one up here. I forgot which one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, you can see the slop in that right there it's supposed to be and I don't want people to think that this is not supposed to be loose a little bit but certainly not like that this is an intake valve and a 12 thousandths should just barely fit through it this is a 16 thousandths and it's got a huge amount of movement so here's Here's what I was hearing when I was listening to the motor. I could hear something tapping, and this is in the valve train right here. Rebuilt engine, probably never has had the valves readjusted from its first deal. And uh, you can tell from this right here. So this one is loose, and this one is loose. And they'll, if you notice, they'll move when they're right. They'll still move a little bit, but not that same amount and that that one right there actually maybe let me see that's a that's an intake also oh yeah that's way loose too if you notice this will there's a lot of oil on that and it's just this is a, a 12 thousandths let's see how let's see if a 16 will fit in it oh yeah and still got room so this whole side this whole bank right here basically let me see what we can adjust we can adjust two four and eight so this is the even side bank so this is two let me think two right here four and eight so that's what we can adjust on the on the intake sides I think let me see no eight on the exhaust so that could be that one right there might not be the one we can adjust it's only this one yeah this is the one that we got to worry about right here this one the, the it's not always released so I've got to spin the motor over and get the rest of that but anyway just wanted to let you look at this and give you a, a shot because I don't think there's anybody else putting any kind of nine liter stuff out and this is the stuff that makes these motors blow up one of the things is I talked about in another video that the uh, there's a piece that's welded into the oil pan that's that keeps the oil from flying around in there and it comes loose from the factory falls down in the bottom of the pan and stops up the oil pickup tube and it blows the motors up that's a guarantee if it sucks it up to the oil uh, pickup screen, it sucks it up to it, it drops the oil pressure down to zero and the motor blows. The next thing that happens to them is that these, these valves right here, they're a solid lifter cam motor. They don't have hydraulic uh, lifters in them like uh, the, the more modern motors do. And what happens is, is people do not adjust these rock arms and they get loose. And when they get loose, they start beating up the top of that and the whole valve, next thing you know, the valve's getting cocked sideways and it pushes it out of line and that's over. And all of that falls right down. The valve keepers, you can go online and you can, you know, you can order those easy because everybody gets them. They're in there and they, it drops the valve keepers down in the motor. 
and of course you know sometimes they make it to the bottom in the oil pan and sometimes they don't and when they don't you're you're about six grand in on a new motor so that's the deal and this has been rebuilt so we want to try to keep this up and uh that's the rocker arm story for today I, I might shoot you another one when i get it all buttoned back up but that's going to be it for that all right el miguel out